Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial video Beastmode 2000 here Um Today we're going to be doing a video on the best summoner loadout So let me go ahead and get started with that First off the armor you're going to want to want Going to want Is the Spooky armor set It comes with a spooky helmet, spooky breastplate, spooky leggings For each one of these that you have it's another uh Minion you can uh, spawn in. Uh, I have these on. These are not necessities. But here we go, right here. Lucky Sorcerer's Emblem. It does 15% increased magic damage, so your minions will do a lot more damage. This is just to run faster. Um, this Necromantic Skull increases minion uh, max number of minions and your minion damage by 10%, so this is a must have right here. You, you can dr it drops from the pumpkin moon. Uh, yeah. Uh, wings, any kind of wings, it's up to you. And this is also not a necessity either. So basically, the ne the necromantic scroll and the lucky sorcerer's emblem, plus the spooky leggings and helmet and breastplate. That is what you're gonna need for the loadout. I will show you guys me fighting against the eyes Cthulhu to show you how good it does against actual bosses okay here we go for this I'm going to be using the keen tempest staff it summons sharknadoes and it's really powerful against uh, enemies does a lot of summoning damage so here you go with no buffs besides the one that are absolutely necessary no armor here you go five sharknadoes and let's see how they do against the Eyes of Cthulhu. They're going for the wrong thing. Dude, they're actually destroying it. They destroyed a boss in a matter of seconds. That's how overpowered this armor set is. And if you have old gold hearts like I have, you will take barely any damage. Um, if you are going to fight higher up bosses such as Okram, I do not suggest that you uh, do it alone if you're going to be doing this loadout uh, because you don't get much defense but it's basically all power um, I will show you guys how to get the armor uh, you have to fight the pumpkin moon I'll show you the guys that okay so here is the pumpkin moon uh, first wave is fairly easy scarecrow not going to really get into all the just of this but um, basically, uh, it's a drop from one of the scarecrows. It's a, it's not, it's a, uh, I'd say it's a 50, I'd say you got a 10% chance of getting it from a scarecrow. Because I only did get one and I have been doing it for a while. I have been doing like a bunch of these. But yeah, you guys probably already know what this is. Also, here's where you get the spooky wood. You get the spooky wood from the uh, little sapling guys. Don't know. Don't exactly remember what the names are called. Um, the splintering. This is where you get the spooky wood. You can see right here. Um, and yeah, once you beat this, uh, there's a lot of cool things you get from this. Not just like really good summoner uh, stuff. You also get. Um, you, know, you have a chance of getting the horseman's blade, which is uh, shoots pumpkins and stuff. And yeah. If you guys thought this video was useful and you would like to see one on another class, that would be really awesome. And I will definitely do that. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment if you guys want to see another one on a different class. Uh, subscribe as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.